So I'm here in Kumkan, South Wales with my brand new 2017 Orange Alpine 6. I've had this just a week now, taking out for a few rides. I thought I'd give you a, a review on there. I'm not a stranger to orange bikes. I had an Orange 5 up until 2015. I really liked the bike and after that I went on to a Mojo IBS HD3 which uh, has got a reputation as a good climber. So I, I got this expecting it to be a winch up the hills and come down it enduro style as you'd expect. What I didn't expect was for this to be a very good climbing bike. The componentry I up, had upgraded, so the Fox Float X on the rear instead of the Monarch and the 36 instead of the uh, Yari fork, which you can get. Um, in regards to forks, I've had the Pike, the Lyric, and now the 36. Now, they, they do all feel different, but performance-wise, you wouldn't go wrong with the Yari. That's a very good fork, and this is a very good fork. This tends to be a bit better when it gets rougher, but the rock shocks tend to be a bit smoother when you're doing slow, you know, slow speeds. The fork though itself, compared to a, a rock shocks, much better build quality. It just looks better finished, the paint, etc. Um, on the Orange 5, I had the um, CTD shock, and it was a pile of crap basically. So when I got the uh, Ibis HD3 and had a King Creek on there, it felt like night and day. And I got this expecting to buy it and then upgrade it at a later date, probably get a coil shock, use this for trail riding and the coil shock for uplifts and if I go to the Alps. However, this has really surprised me. That is better than a King Creek inline, I guarantee it. The King Creek seems to suck down into about this part of its travel before you get any damping etc and then after that it's good this is good straight from the top all the way through the 1x11 I, I don't buy into all the gear crap as long as they work they work about 10 speed 11 speed they all work just fine it is a welcome change to have a top mount chain guide my old fire used to drop a chain all the time, especially with the chain growth of the swing arm. That's the Kashima Transfer Fox seat post. I'd recommend that over a Rock Shocks every day of the week. They're faultless. I had the DOS beforehand on my IBIS, changed it from the Rock Shocks after three of them were faulty and no problems. And this feels even better built. This seat that comes on there is standard. Feels lovely to sit on. Really good quality. You sit on air, but it absolutely kills your balls. Don't ask me why or how. I don't know. The Shimano's. I had the XT's. I had the SLX. And the Oars, in fact. On my first ride out, I thought these were crap. The bike point was all over the place, but after a few rides, now they seem to have bedded in and they're consistent so maybe it's just when they're new they need to be bedded in properly what they've done with the swing arm um, raise the pivot location has helped this bike climb loads and if you're worried about how this climbs but you've ridden an orange 5 this climbs better than an old 2013 orange 5 easily you might not believe that but it definitely does that I had one for long enough and this climbs really good in fact if I was sat on this on my IBIS and this was in the trail mode on the shock I, I couldn't tell the difference it climbs excellent I could climb on this all day okay the only last thing I did different on here is I put these mallets on there give them a try and they've got a reputation of poor reliability but these ones are supposed to be all right so We'll give them a go, maybe review them at a later date. And there it is.